Hey, cute people, long time, I know, I know, I know, and something that I haven't done in a long time that I want to share with you guys, all, all beauty products from the drugstore, some from the beauty supply store, things I just had to have, really didn't need, but I just had to have them. I've been fighting with the light for the longest time. I'm in my bedroom in front of the window. Part of it is too much light, and then the other part is not enough light, and I wanted to show you guys some color. But because I haven't been here in so long, I figured I'd take my chances and see what it looks like because I don't have a viewfinder, so it's kind of hard. But a lot of these things you probably seen before, but I just want to share some things that I got because if you haven't got them, maybe you want to go out and get them. So I'm going to show you my haul by store. Of course, I went to CVS, the beauty supply, and of course, of course, of course, most of the stuff comes from Rite Aid. So the first thing I'm going to show you that I got was the Fit Me by Maybelline. I had to get this. I am normal to dry skin and this here is for normal to oily skin. It's matte but I wanted to try it. You know I think I'm falling into the height and I got also a lipstick and was supposed to have been buy one get one 50% off but when I checked my receipt I didn't get my 50% off so you know the receipt is to the side because I gotta take this stuff back. The only reason I buy most makeup is because I can get it on sale usually at the drugstore. If I can get it on sale, I'll buy it. If not, I'll just wait until it goes on sale. But I had to get this lipstick here. It is so pretty. Do you see it? The color is Red Revival. And it is gorgeous. I cannot wait. Oh yes, I just cannot wait to wear this color. And I'll show you in the light. I don't know if it's gonna wash out, but that's what it looks like. It is so pretty. So I had to get that. Now the one thing I wanted for the longest time was some, what is this here? This is the soft matte lip creams. I have two, but I wanted, is it Transylvania? I really wanted that color. So when I was in CVS, you know CVS sells NYX now, so I figured, okay, I'll try to um, look out for it, but they didn't have it in the CVS. I don't think they carry certain shades. So I went to the beauty supply store. They didn't have it either. But I saw this. And I did want to try the Copenhagen. You see that? That's the Copenhagen. That was another color I wanted to try. So I got this trio here. And it was, I think, like $11.99. So that's not bad. Because I don't know how much each costs. But I figured $11.99 for three had to be a great deal. So those are the things that I got from CVS. Now, I'm always, always in deals. So I'll show you what I got from deals. I have been wanting to get these for the longest time. Some of these um, prints here. I don't know if you can see the ones that I have. But these are the Essie Nail. Um, they call them strips or decals. They call them sticks. Sleek stick. And when I first saw them, I saw them in Rite Aid. They were like $10, $11. I was not going to pay that much for them. So I saw them in deals. A lot of people here had um, hold some they got from the dollar store. So I said, I got to find them. Got to find them. And I bumped into these two. They only had two styles. And again, I don't know if you'll be able to see them too much. But that's what they look like. And they are very pretty. So I'll tell you what this one is. It, one looks like a snake skin. That's this one. And then this one here looks, I don't know what this one looks like. Oh, zebra. Okay, that's a zebra. But you can't see it because of the line. And I'm so sorry. But I had to do this video because I haven't been here with you guys in such a long time. Then I got two of these lip stains, a dollar each. I got this one here. And you can't beat e.l.f. lipsticks or cosmetics, I should say, for a dollar. These are their lip stains. Can you see the colors? I think I tried on one of them. As you can see, I'm in love with berries. And this one here, I think, is called... What is it? Oh, so small, I can't read the words. Crimson? Okay. So I'm in love with reds, and this is Crimson Crush. I put it over here. You can't see it in the light. So here it is, Crimson Crush. I'm not going to haul everything I have because it'll take forever, especially when it gets to the lipsticks. And this one here is 
berry blush that's the one on the bottom so they're supposed to stay and that's what they look like yeah so i got those then also like i mentioned to you guys i'm always always in rite aid there's two in my neighborhood not too far from each other so if i'm looking for something in right i can go to one if they don't have it i feel like it, i can go to the other there's a rite aid everywhere here in the bronx like, there's a Dwayne Reed everywhere in Manhattan. If you live in New York, you know what I mean. So one thing that I did get, and I had this for quite some time, but I haven't used it yet. But I just want to show you guys to look out for these. And that's the Real Technique brushes. Yeah. You see this one? Okay. This one here, as you can see, is this Stippling brush. Yes. And then this one here is the starter set. It's the Eyes starter set. Mm-hmm. And I got this because I had always wanted to try some Real Technique brushes. They were relatively cheap. I know they have some new brushes out now. I'm not interested in buying them because I don't need another beauty product at all. Yesterday, I believe it was, the day before, I was trotting around the Bronx and I came across a beauty supply store when I was going to find it when I looked for the NYX Transylvania they didn't have it and these were in my mind to ask the man if they had them and then I said no let me just get out of the store because they don't have what I want right now I'll check someplace else and yada 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 I happened to turn around boom and these were right there these are the Ruby Kisses matte lipsticks and I love do you hear me when I tell you I love matte lipsticks and I'm not gonna lie if I could have I would have for every single one that they had but I didn't I might try to over time but I didn't but this one here is called purple affair and okay I'll swatch this one because I know I heard somebody say well she swatches so I will that's purple affair there you and like I said, I'm sorry about the light, but I'm hoping that um you guys will be able to see it. And you can look at the packaging really nice and sleek. It has the color here, which is true to form. And then another color here. And like I mentioned to you, I seem to be falling in love with any type of red matte. It doesn't matter. If it's red and it's matte, I am on it. This one here is, it says Kiss Red. And that's Kiss Red. I, saw, I, I feel like I'm doing this video in the dark. But I hope you guys can really see. And I haven't tried any of them on. Now this color here I got on the suggestion of a Chic 118. And she had this color. She um, swatched it. Extreme Coral. And I just had to get it. Oh my goodness. This here color is gorgeous and there it is over there it is so pretty and if you're my complexion and darker do not be afraid of color lip liners and other darker colors are your best friend you can transform any lipstick to be whatever it is that you need it to be and i'll show you case in point what I'm wearing today and this one here is called plum wine and another thing that I love too I am so much in love with any type of purple lipstick too if it's purple I want it yes I do here's plum wine that's these colors are so pretty and even though I'm not putting them on my lip <laughs> going on my arm feels glorious they feel good and this one here i had to get because i feel like i have a black lipstick but i feel like dark colors are for your funky days this is dark plum c they're for your funky days when you want to wear your big earrings put your hair up in some type of way so you can look really really cute and this one is here oh yes and they feel good and they don't go on streaky this one here that's this one Do it in the light. Do it out of the sun. Like I said, I just had to do this video because I haven't come to talk to you guys in quite some time. I don't always want my videos to be um, Curl Kid unboxings, but I'm doing the best I can. Okay, now look. 
Wet n Wild always wants to come out with something new. And I bought some of these things a good while ago at one of the writers in my neighborhood. And just yesterday, now today is February 6th, so just, not yesterday, maybe the 4th. They had the display up fully stocked. Like, they just put it out. So if you're looking for some of these things, continue to look for them. You just may find them. I got some of their, which they're calling these the cold crayon, wet and wild. So I'm not going to swatch, but these are the colors. And this one here is just a brown. We have a purple. And a blue, which I'm so excited over. Maybe you can see it, okay. And this one here, um, let's see, is a bronze color. Or another brown. Okay, so what was the first one? I said it was a brown color. Because I don't have any duplicates here, so okay, it is brown, but it's called Pretty in Mink. I should have told you guys the color, so what I'll do is list them below. And this is Baby's Got Black, because it's a black color. This is another one that I'm really excited to use, and Don't Leaf Me. It's like a green. Really, really pretty. And a taupe one. Now, why I got taupe, I don't know, because I would never align my bottom eye or anything other than black, because I have really full, big doe eyes. <laughs> so I wouldn't do anything to expand them. I just want to sultry them out. Anyway, so those are the eyeliners. There's 10. The other ones were white and like a fleshy color, flesh tone. I wasn't interested in that. I also picked up this, which I'm sure you've been seeing quite a bit of on YouTube. And it was just a little display. Again, at my right age, I just happened to walk in. They must have just put it up that minute because it was fully stocked. And it's just three colors, but I end up getting creamy bronze. Oh, and if you ask me what it is, it's a soft focus finishing powder. It's a finishing powder. Woo, it took me a long time to get it open, but here it is. This is what it looks like. There's the light, so you can see it either way, because I'm not sure which way it'll show up. But this may be more true to what it really looks like. Yeah, I think that's it. And I wanted to try it, so I figured I'd go ahead and get it. Again, this is creamy bronze. This is the color that was in between. You know, there was one, of course, lighter and one darker. It retailed for like $6.99, but it had the coupon for a dollar off. So take a look at that. And then I also got, now I had to try these EOS because, again, I'm falling into the hype. And I got Honeydew. It's pretty green. And I also got blueberry. And I only got them because they were on sale. The regular price at Rite Aid was $3.79. I don't know if you can see that. But if I hadn't got them on sale because of the reward card or the card that they have, I would have paid $3.49 for them. But they were on sale two for six dollars. So I ended up getting them and they didn't give me the sale price. So you know I held on to my receipt and I went right back. I don't really smell much of anything, but I wanted to try them. I figured if I like them, I like them, and I'll always get them on sale. If I don't, then I won't get them again. But I had to get these two fragrances or flavors because they were different. Blueberry lip balm, right up my alley. Now, another thing I want to show you guys, and don't sleep. Like I tell you, don't sleep. I did a haul a good while ago on some jewelry that I got from Rite Aid. And as you can see, I got these on sale for $3.99. You may not be able to see. But the regular price for these were, I don't see the regular price. I usually would have it on here. But I thought they were so cute. I don't know if you can see, but it's silver, rose gold, and gold. And I thought they were so cute. Yes. And I end up getting, now Wet n Wild, they have a lot of new shades. And looking at a chic 1118. She picked a white color. I don't have a white nail polish. I said, oh, I'm going to look for the white one. But I didn't see white. But I needed a clear. So I got this. And I think it's like 99 cents. Very inexpensive. But they had a lot of pretty colors. But I decided not to get because I didn't need um, nail polishes because um, I just don't need them. <laughs> and then 
You know what I'm going to do? Because you know this is one of my favorite um, videos to do. I have some lipsticks here that I bought from Wet n Wild. They have eight in that um, collection. Remember I mentioned to you? This is... And I like the packaging. It's really cute, really sleek. Then again, I wish that the lipstick wouldn't stick out like this so you wouldn't nick it. But it's a good thing because you can tell what color it is. So that's not too bad. And then you can see it has to fit in a certain way and it does lock. Let's see. I can't hear it. But it locks in place, so that's a good thing. In a small way, I think this darkness that we're in, you can see the color a lot better. And there's eight colors in the um, collection, and they're very, very pretty. I really, really like them. They're not matte lipsticks. I'm not sure what the name of these may be, but they're not matte. But I like the um, Wet n Wild c collection. You know, their lipsticks and stuff. Showing you in the light and out of the light. But for some reason, I think out of the light, yeah, it's more true too. And that, cute people, is my haul video. Yes, I have not shot for any beauty products in quite some time, and I do not continue to continue to do it. And I just wanted to show you, when I mentioned to you earlier about not being afraid of bright lipsticks, you see this one here, you see how bright this is, right? Here we are. Now. Okay, here we are. And you see, this is a bright lipstick. This is by NYC. And goodness, I hope I can read the name, which I cannot see. So I'll put it right here. And this is a really, really bright color. Let me show you. Now, this color, I don't think, well, yeah, well it did look nice, as a matter of fact. It did look nice by itself. But let's say you yourself like the color you bought at home and you didn't like it on yourself. I tried it on and I wanted to deepen it a little bit. So then what I did was took my NYX lip liner in brown black. And that's what that looks like. And that's brown black, there you go. And I put it on, and this is what it looks like. So you can see the difference. That's the lipstick. Brown black on top. And I really like it because it deepened it up, gave it a really nice look. And the lipstick itself, I really like it. It's their Expert Last Lipstick. Yeah, yeah, lip color. And then I wanted to show you guys, too, I don't know if you can see, just in case you'd like to know, my nail color. Can you see it much? There it is. This is a really pretty color. And I had worn one previous um, by Wet n Wild, the same packaging. And it is just, oh, I love this color. And I love the one that I wore before, but I hadn't done a video. But this color here is Disturbia. And it's so darn pretty it's just like a really gorgeous deep dark purple color there it goes. Mm -hmm. i really love it and the good thing about it is that if i don't wash dishes this color will stay on my finger for the whole week i usually try to do my nails on sunday here it is thursday friday and they still look good. I usually just put a little coat on top. And you probably can tell I paint outside the lines. But I just wanted to share that color with you. Ooh, real light. Ooh, okay. So, 
like I mentioned, I just really wanted to come by and share with you guys. And I really hope that I can get here a little bit sooner before karaoke comes. But I really, really do appreciate you guys who stop by to watch my videos, to comment. It really, really touches my heart a great deal. Because we're all here for the same thing, and that's to share to learn and those of them who teach they do a great job so i'm going to end this video now because i gotta get ready to get some things together because you know work calls and be time to make the donuts so i'm going to say thank you so much for watching this video hopefully i'll see you in the next i will see you in the next and share and spread love